I'm super excited to get started with this, but just a quick word before we do, if you are a beginner in data science, I really highly recommend you watch these next few minutes. I made sure to make the video nice, short, and concise so you can see this quickly and you won't have to leave. I highly recommend you just stick out the next few minutes. Okay, to kick things off, we're gonna start with the most well-known data science project out there, hands down, which is MNIST Handwritten Digits. This is an example of a multi-class classification project, which is just a fancy term that means we're trying to predict what type or class something belongs to. Red, blue, or green is a different example. Cat, dog, or monkey is a different example. Or this one, zero, one, up to nine, what is the handwritten digit? A second very popular project for beginners is essentially the upgrade or more modern version of MNIST handwritten digits, where it's the same thing. It's multi-class classification, but now it's fashion. It's called fashion MNIST, so it's predicting whether the image is a shoe or a coat or a jacket and so on. Our third project here is an example of what's called a regression problem, which really just means predicting continuous values. So an example of that is maybe predicting someone's height in centimeters or maybe their weight in kilograms. But the example we have here is the very well-known California housing regression problem. So in this project, your task is to make a machine learning model that can accurately predict the housing price for some location in California. So as some intuition, you could probably guess that you know a house near the water or a house right beside the Apple headquarters is probably a lot more money than one maybe a small house out in the countryside. Our second last project is what's called a binary classification project, where it's still classification, it's still predicting one of multiple things, except here there's only two things, that's why we call it binary, and you can also think about that as maybe on or off, or it is or it is not, and this example is going to be Titanic survival, so people either survived or they didn't, a little bit sad, but a very very famous data set, and your task is to make a machine learning model that can predict whether someone's going to survive or not survive on a Titanic boat. This is sometimes called Titanic Titanic logistic regression because logistic regression is pretty much the most basic technique that you can use to solve the problem of binary classification. Now our last very important project I'd recommend for beginners is credit card fraud detection, which is another binary classification problem. A transaction is either fraudulent or not fraudulent, and we're trying to predict whether it's fraud or not fraud. And this one is extremely important because it deals with what's called an imbalanced data set. We have two different classes, fraud and not fraud, except you can imagine that a lot more transactions are not fraud and very few of them are fraud. And that has a big impact on our machine learning models. So there's the top five projects that I would recommend for all beginners in data science to practice and practice a ton. Even I still learn off these all the time. Now it is important to note that probably these aren't really meant for a resume too much. They're very beginner projects and pretty much everyone that's gone through the machine learning process has probably seen these before and it's not super interesting but they are very important to learn from. And again, I learn from them all the time. I of course have all of the relevant links down in the description. So take a look there and I will see you next time guys.